channel. So it is officially the new year, as I'm sure you obviously all know, and I'm a little late because it's not the first anymore. I know that. Um, but I just want to make a video about how to stick to your New Year's resolutions and talk all about the new year and how awesome that is. If you're someone that really doesn't buy into the new year new me concept, this isn't going to be your favorite video, but maybe you can get something out of it too. So I was always very critical of the girls that were like new year new me and like dyed their hair and thought they were a different person because obviously you're the same person as you were yesterday. You just decided that you weren't going to be. But once I came out of my bitter, you know, whatever state that I was in, obviously when I thought that way about those people, um, I realized how cool the new year is really. I mean, if you think about it and if you're one of those people that can kind of take it that way and not be critical, a new year is really, really exciting. To me, it means like a fresh slate, like a completely new year to be whoever you want to be. And obviously like you're not going to be a totally different person than you were the other day. But if to you, the new year means that you can go do anything and be anyone, then that's like amazing. And that's how I have chosen to take it and think about it recently anyway, because I also try and do that at least every week. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I try and wake up each Monday and think, you know, I have a whole week to do whatever I can and to be whoever I want to be. And that's a really amazing feeling. So that's definitely the mindset that I adopted this year also, because obviously this year I'm getting married. So this is a huge year for me and I'm so, so excited and there's a lot going on. And I have decided this year I'm not going to be, you know, overwhelmed, nervous, anxiety ridden Melissa like I'm gonna be a different person and I know you can't just wake up and decide that but you kind of can you kind of can wake up and decide that you're not gonna be the same person you were the day before it's all really up to you and so I've been really trying really hard to in the few days that it's been since um, January 1st to set some goals and decide what I really want out of 2018 and what things I don't want out of 2018. So I'm gonna walk you guys through how exactly I set my own goals and what makes them most attainable and what can kind of derail you from getting to where you wanna be in the new year. So here we go. So the first and most important thing I think is to think about your goals and first think about why you have those goals. So for so many years before, I always wanted to be skinny and that was one of my goals. But looking back, I think that that was mainly not achieved because the reason I wanted to be skinny is so that people liked me. And quite honestly, people liking you is not a huge driving factor and it really shouldn't be. Like looking back, if I would have thought, you know, think about how much this is going to benefit my health or think about how much this is going to benefit my personal, you know, mental state and everything, I think that would have really helped me. But looking back, as I just said 40 times, I was thinking all about what people thought of me and how it was going to affect my relationships with other people and that should not have been the most important because if you're looking to lose weight, which I know is a huge goal for many people in the new year, your reason should not be to make other people happy. That should never be your reason for anything, no matter what, because in the end you won't feel fulfilled and you'll feel like you've wasted your time. I know that because I've been there and done that, like learn from my mistakes, don't make the same ones. My dad always says that. Um, so that's a huge thing is make sure you know why you're doing what you're doing and don't set goals based upon what other people want you to do. That will immediately ruin your progress and make everything so much harder. So make sure that what your goals are are based on the person that you want to be, not the person that other people want you to be. That is my first and most important tip. If you get nothing more out of this video, please set your goals according to what you want for yourself. So the second thing is to set really attainable goals. And I know that people say this, but I never did this. I told myself, I'm going to lose 100 pounds. I'm going to be a supermodel. Okay, that's great, but that's really overwhelming. So what I found most beneficial is to think about it in smaller increments. So I would think, oh, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. And then once that was gone, I'm going to lose 10 again and 10 again and 10 again. And that's way more doable than it is to think that you're going to lose 100 pounds. Because quite honestly, anyone can lose 10 pounds. It's really not that hard. And so if you keep thinking about it that way, it's way, way easier and it's way easier on you and it's not so overwhelming. And that can be applied to like a ton of different things. So say your goal for 2018 is to save a bunch of money. So say you want to save like $5,000. I don't know, whatever your personal saving goals are. Well, it's a lot easier to say, you know, for each check, I'm going to save $50 or for each check, I'm going to save $100 than it is to say, I'm going to save $5,000. It seems so much more in reach and it will take a load off your shoulders and it will make it seem so much more doable. And that is a huge, huge thing to remember because it's so much easier to stick to your goals is you can keep track of it as you go and it doesn't get away from you. So that's my second tip is to set attainable goals and to break it down so it doesn't seem so overwhelming. So my third tip is to keep track of things. So like I just said, say you're trying to meet a certain goal 
losing 100 pounds, saving $5,000, break it down and then keep track of it. So say that you want to lose, again, 100 pounds in a year, make goals for each month or something like that. That way you have very specific goals and very specific timelines because I could say that I wanna lose that much weight in a year and then December 30th be like, oh crap, because I haven't made intermediate timelines and so I have no accountability. So it's really good for you and it was really good for me if you make specific deadlines for things because it can really help you stay motivated and get excited for those things. And that's gonna lead into the next thing that I'm gonna talk about that I do for myself. And it may not be something that works for you, but it really works for me. And that is to set rewards for when you attain goals. So when I was losing weight, I would set a different goal or a reward for each increment of weight that I lost. So for me, it was 20 pounds. So at 20 pounds, I would say, you know, go get a spray tan or go get a new outfit or something like that. So while losing weight is generally pretty miserable, I would be so excited because I would be like, I know that in, you know, six more pounds or four more pounds, I can go get a spray tan. And like, yeah, I could have done that at any time really re realistically, but I would feel like I was cheating myself if I did it earlier than when I met that goal. So that's a huge thing to keep you motivated and also to keep you on track because you're looking forward to this reward. And it doesn't have to be something like big like that. It doesn't have to be something expensive or anything. I mean, you could decide at 20 pounds, I'm gonna go eat pizza or I'm gonna go, you know, do whatever. I'm gonna go, I don't know, whatever you wanna do. But the rewards really help you stay excited about it and not make goal setting such a downer because trying to save $5,000 or lose 100 pounds really doesn't sound that exciting. Like, let me tell you from experience, it doesn't sound very fun. So make it fun for yourself or else you're never gonna stick to your goals. So my last tip and one that has only come into play in my life recently is tell people about your goals. Because if I say to myself that I'm gonna do those things and then I don't, I've really only let me down. And that's not that big of a deal. But if I tell my dad and my mom and my fiance and all my friends, then they can ask me, you know, how are you doing? And that keeps me so much more accountable than if I just think about it myself. So like I like to tell my roommate because she lives with me and she can be on me about stuff or my dad who's super into fitness and can remind me or you know my mom who just wants what's best for me. So find people that you're gonna be able to stay accountable to and that will probably remind you and tell them about your goals and be excited about it because that is a great, great way to stay on track because you're not just gonna be accountable to yourself, you're accountable to other people and you don't wanna let them down either. So I think that was a huge thing that kept me going is knowing that if I didn't achieve my goal, it wouldn't be just me that I didn't achieve it to, it would be a lot of other people. And they really only cared about that because they wanted what's best for me. So tell other people your goals, get excited about it, let them get excited about it, like let them share in the fun, make it fun. <laughs> and that will honestly help you so much in the long run to actually sticking to the things that you wanna do this year, which are so, so important. So I know that, that sounds like me on my soapbox or me like preaching to the choir because obviously I did so many years of setting goals and not accomplishing them. But decide that this isn't gonna be that for you. Like decide that you're gonna start January 1st or today or February 13th. Like decide whenever that this is gonna be your year and you're gonna absolutely rock it because why not? I mean, why not this year? That is my whole theory is like, why not this year? Why not right now? Like really, what are your reasons? Like if I think about it, I mean, I could come up with a hundred reasons why this should not be my time, but I only need one for why it should be. So really think about that and I really hope this inspired you. It inspires me making these kind of videos because as I talk it out, I'm like, wow, I really like, really enjoy this stuff and this is stuff that really helps me and I really hope it helps you guys too. I just want everyone to have an amazing year and I want to have an awesome year here too. And on YouTube, like I really want to talk to you guys and stay connected to you guys and y'all have been such amazing followers like I, or subscribers, I can't explain to you like how much I've enjoyed being on here because of the interaction I get with you guys. So that's been amazing and I couldn't ask for more from y'all or from, I mean, my family and this life that I'm living. So I really hope you guys have an amazing 2018 and please like stay in contact with me, like talk to me, like ask me questions, like let me ask you questions. I want this to be fun and I want this to be interactive. So I hope you have an amazing year and please like, like and comment and subscribe and all that jazz that I always talk about. But really, I love having you guys here and I hope you guys have an awesome year.